Hey, 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 it's time to make some crazy money. Are you ready? Here we go. This is totally hard. 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 Totally so Crazy Taxi is an arcade title, uh, originally came out in 1999 I believe, um, and basically it sees you driving a taxi round, uh, causing mayhem and just getting a high score at the end of it. So a pretty simple arcade game, but really difficult to master. So this has come out on absolutely everything, so obviously Dreamcast was the first version, uh, it then came out on the PS2, the Xbox, the GameCube, uh, Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the PC, uh, you can even get it on your Android device or your iPhone, uh, which is currently free on, so grab that while you can. Um, if you want to play this though, you're probably best off playing this on either the Dreamcast or one of the Xbox consoles because you need a controller like this with proper triggers, because that's what this game really requires. So we'll just get into the game here and just explain a few of the modes and actually how to play the game. So in this you have your original arcade mode, so this is the same as the actual arcade machine. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. So original is a brand new city that has been made just for the home version, so another world to drive around in. Crazy Box is uh, a bunch of little tiny mini games that take the techniques that you have to use in the game um, and just mess around with them. So there's one where you have to do a super jump, one where you have to smash your car into a bunch of bowling pins by using the crazy dash and crazy slide. Uh, so this actually helps you to, to play the game better as well. And then you've got your options, your records for your high scores and your save and load in. So we'll just have a quick go on the arcade and then we'll look at the other modes in a few seconds. Uh, here we have your arcade rules. So that's just a typical arcade machine, what you'd normally have when you put your pound in the arcade or for a dollar. Uh, you've got your work for three minutes, five or ten with no other rules. But we'll just do an arcade game here. So the general gist of this game is basically you have to pick up fares, drop them off, do it in a crazy style with one of your crazy characters as you can see here, and then get a bunch of money and then move on to the next one. You are just a crazy taxi driver. That's so let's go and pick up our first fare. So stop near them, they tell you where they want to go, an arrow, arrow appears on screen and then you've got to make your way there. So you'll have to do crazy stuff, so going on the wrong side of the road is considered crazy, uh, dashing through vehicles, uh, going up against walls, power sliding, anything that is crazy, basically. Um, they give you a time limit of when they want you to get there by, you have an overall time limit in which you need to also pick up your passengers as well. Um, each passenger has a different coloured circle around them, so I think it's green is basically uh, a short distance and red is a longer one. Now obviously a red one uh, is difficult, but it means you get more time with the person so you can do more crazy stuff like this. Uh, it also means that you can uh, spend more time with the customer and just rack up that high score, but it does mean if your journey takes a lot longer, your bonus might be nothing, depending on how good you are. Um, and it can mean that you waste a whole lot of time, so you really have to play around with this game and work out the best route for it, and that's where the replayability of this game comes in. Um, so that you can just smash up everything. So yeah, this game is a game that you'll be playing for a long time, even though you'll probably only be playing it for you know five minutes at a time at best. Um, it's perfect arcade joy. It's one of the most popular games out there. Now uh, in this game, you'll see that there is. Uh, logos for companies like the Levi's store, you also have Pizza Hut and other brands like that. Um, you've also got music by Offspring and Bad Religion and they actually work the game perfectly well. Um, they are brilliant bands to listen to anyway, um, but in this game they actually fit really well and the Xbox and PS3 version sadly don't have them, um, which is a huge shame because they are so much a part of the Crazy Taxi universe. Uh, all, basically all the trademarks were taken out in later version of the game, so basically if you want to get the pure version of this game, you need the Dreamcast original. Now as I said before about the controls and the triggers, uh, obviously your left trigger is to break, your right trigger is to go. Uh, you also have your gear shift as you can see in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, now that is used to pull off a number of moves, so one here is you push the drive, and the accelerator together, 
and then you do a little turbo boost there. You can also do a small one together uh, if you don't go into reverse first. Uh, now you're going to need that uh, to be really good at this game. Uh, without it, you're not going to do very well at all. Um, if you just drive around, you're not going to have a fun time. You need to learn how to do the crazy dash and stuff like that. So like I say, it is a pretty simple arcade game. Um, difficult to master. It looks fantastic. It plays brilliantly. Um, like I say, you do need that Dreamcast control really because the analog triggers in this are so slick. Um, they are not spunky at all and that's what you need. You need proper precision for this game. Uh, now the world in this is actually really huge as well. Um, as you can see, there is some slight pop-up in the distance, unfortunately. It doesn't detract from the game too much. Uh, but the world is just full of character, full of people. Don't expect Grand Theft Auto levels of interaction of people going on. Um, you know, there is so many different districts in this, and this is just the arcade levels it is. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just let the time run out here as we go on to the next place. Um, and then we'll show you the original mode as well. So we're going to have a quick look at the original mode. It's identical to the arcade version, it's just about brand new map basically, just made for the Dreamcast originally and then used in other versions. Uh, it's actually a really good map, one of the best in fact. Uh, the arcade obviously is perfect, Sega always get their arcade games perfect, whether it's this, Super Monkey Ball, Virtual Cop, whatever it is. Um, they always do the first one perfectly and then kind of run out of steam after that. But this map is really good, it is a lot of fun, it's a lot more complex than the original one. Um, there's loads of different routes. Uh, it takes a bit of time to actually get used to, to, to the layout of this map. Now, if you're wondering about the other versions again, because there's been loads of sequels to this, uh, whether it's Crazy Taxi 2, or Crazy Taxi 3, and so on, um, no one knows as good as the original. Crazy Taxi 2 introduces a few new ideas. Um, so, in that one, you can pick up multiple passengers and you have to drop them off in different places, which is a fun idea. Uh, it's just a shame that the map isn't very good which is basically what this game relies on. Uh, so Crazy Taxi 2 is set in New York, um, which sounds a fantastic idea on paper. Uh, New York doesn't have the San Francisco-ness of all the hills and stuff like that, so there's very few jumps, uh, which is why they've got a jump button in this, so you can actually jump over some um, buildings um, and through areas. But basically, it's just, it just very nice. It's just very grey, very dull. Um, it doesn't even look as good as this, which is you know, a huge shame. Uh, Crazy Taxi 3 actually changes that. Uh, it goes very bright. It really uses the power for the Xbox and the PC. Um, and you know, it does. It contains both Crazy Taxi 1 and 2 in it. But uh, you know, this is the same about the original. The original is the best version. Um, you need to have this. You know, if you've got a Dreamcast, you need this game in your life definitely. If you don't, you still need it in your life. It is a really fun game. You now, don't bother playing Flappy Bird. Play Crazy Taxi instead. Crazy Taxi was the flappy bird of its time, basically. Everyone was playing it, whether it was good or bad at it. Just because it's so much fun, you can mess around. You don't have to be good to enjoy this. If you are good, you're going to have even more fun, though. Um, there really isn't much more I can really talk about this game, so let's just get into the crazy box mode. Just have a quick look at that. So basically, here you have a bunch of different boxes you can try, you unlock more as you play through them. So let's just do the first one just to give you a quick idea on that one, and then we'll try a more difficult one later on. Some of these do get quite difficult, and if you complete them all, then you get something quite nice, which is a nice new cab, which is a rickshaw, which is quite fun, quite different. So here we've done a leap. Uh, so to do this you have to use the crazy dash in different ways to get a good score so it teaches you the game uh, you can ask for advice so crazy dash there tells you actually how to do it um, let's see what we can find here so you have uh, stuff like the crazy bound which 
requires really uh, high levels of skill to do. Um, like crazy drift. So this one just tells you how to do crazy drift. Now, like I say, you need all this stuff to be good at this game. So let's get some speed up. There we go. And there we go. We've got a drift going on there. And you need that to not only get around the corners, but to also rack up money. So you really have to play this game by like messing around and just kind of causing havoc, really. Yeah, got the combo. Uh, so yeah, this is Crazy Taxi. Uh, if you like this video, you know what to do. Um, you know where to get it. I've already told you. Uh, so until next time, stay casually hardcore. Did you enjoy that video? Then hit that like button. Why not subscribe as well and get the latest videos, news, and competitions? Don't forget to check out casuallyhardcore.com, where you can buy hundreds of video game shirts and geek clothing, or make your own shirts with worldwide shipping also available. Until next time, stay casually hardcore.